Without its top rebounder, Toronto struggled to stay in the paint against Washington. For Jean Tabak, the biggest obstacle was seven foot seven man mountain, Jorge Mirasan. When he takes the ball, uh, once on the position for one on one, it's very difficult to guard him. What you can do, you can do everything to don't let him take a ball, and you need to make him run. If you make him run, he's in trouble. Of course, next up for Toronto, New Jersey. And with or without Derek Coleman, the Nets remain one of the best rebounding teams in the league. And that's obvious concern in the Raptors camp. Unlike Muir's son, the Nets are mobile and aggressive around the glass. But Oliver Miller, who plans to play despite a bruised knee, appears to have the strategy to offset that. Go to the ball. The most important thing on the court is the ball. And once you get the ball, then you can work from there. And uh, we have a lot of guys that's really aggressive, and that, that goes to the rebounding part. So far, the backcourt has done its part. Damon Stoudemire, for example, is tied for third in rebounding. Now it's time for the front court. If the big guys can, um, you know, establish a presence inside and then stay on the offensive glass, that makes the game uh, a lot easier. You just got to concentrate in that area. Toronto could also use Victor Alexander in that area. He was traded to Cleveland, but the deal was annulled when a physical revealed a ruptured tendon in his right foot. Well, you know, when I left Cleveland, I was a little scared, you know, because automatically, you know, I'm not no doctor. And they were like, you know, you got a ruptured tendon. And I'm like, oh, you know, I was concerned. But um, like I said, you know, I'm going to let the Toronto doctors take a look at it and see what they think. And until he gets back on the court and proves he wants to play, the Raptors don't know what to think either. Rob Sinclair, Global Sports.